Welcome to Happy Trails Hiking and our park travel series. We've been traveling to parks together for 14 years. This series will focus on our tips and tricks for individual parks so that you can plan a successful trip too. We have found Death Valley National Park to be enchanting both times we have visited. We hope that these seven tips will help you plan your trip to Death Valley National Park. Number seven. See a sunrise or a sunset. In Death Valley, the air is especially clear due to the lack of humidity and reduced air pollution. Combine this clarity with minimal vegetation and a striking landscape, and you get some amazing twilight. Number six, plan for photography. The geological features, specialized ecosystems, and unique human history create a virtual smorgasbord of photographic opportunities. And for number five, go take a hike. I bet you're not surprised hiking made the list. Our favorites include Darwin Falls, Mosaic Canyon, the Keen Wonder Mine, and Golden Canyon. Okay, the map we got from the visitor said, or said to crawl between the boulders on the left or east side of the jam. So we're gonna give it a shot. If I'm crawling, Matt may be uh, slithering. That way. Okay. It's slick because it's marble. As the old movie says, there's gold in them there, heels. Literally. Looking out of the canyon, you can really see why they call it Golden Canyon. This landscape is made for dawn and dusk. It's beautiful. Number four, take a drive. Our favorite landmarks to visit in the park include Zabriskie Point, Badwater Basin, Yubihibi Crater, Wild Rose Charcoal Kilns, and Scotty's Castle. Zabriskie Point is really pretty amazing. Um, you can stay here forever and just get different pictures and different views forever and ever and ever. Come see it. As you enjoy your scenic drive through Death Valley, be sure to stay on the road. Going off-road can do long-lasting damage to an environment that is surprisingly delicate. Every trip to Death Valley National Park needs to start at Badwater Basin. Or at least include Badwater Basin. So there's sea level. And I'm clear down here. Short drive up from the Grapevine Visitor Center is Yuba Hebe Crater. So we've come out here to the Wild Rose Charcoal Kilns. They were built in 1877 and 
We're just gonna go see how cool they look. Our visit to Scotty's castle was awesome. It was really cool to see the history behind it and the flood stories. Rent a Jeep from Farabee Jeep Rentals. These Jeeps are properly equipped for the many park roads that require a high clearance vehicle. They also include extra water and a satellite beacon for emergencies. Plus, Jeeps are just cool. Number two, carry and consume extra water and salty snacks. This is probably obvious given the name Death Valley and the fact that this place is a desert that can reach 127 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. Also, for the record, we recommend visiting in a season that is not summer, like January. Number one. Strategize. Temperature swings are significant and popular trails like Golden Canyon can get busy. Our favorite trick is to get up at 4 a.m. and hit the trail as the sun comes up. We'll be done early and then spend the afternoon at the spring-fed swimming pool. Death Valley is not a forgiving environment. Whatever you do, plan carefully and make wise choices. Hope you have a great trip. Thanks for watching.